and now starting on the albums that I continued collecting over time. Starting with the first one, Megadeth. Um, I don't know how I got into this band, but I did. Um, I like the album cover. I, I don't know any of the songs on this album, but I just love like the picture. Like he looks really cool. Like he's someone I would love to hang out with because he hears no evil, speaks no evil, and sees no evil. And he has a really cool diamond. So we would get along. And I like his suit. Very cool. George H. Bush, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And I like his name. It's Victor. Next album. It is Judas Priest. British Steel. I believe this is their first album. Again, I know nothing about Judas Priest. Except it does have Brick in the Law. And that's the only one I know. And they look fantastic. I have no idea which one's Rob Halford. I think it's the one with the microphone. I like his pants. I have no words for this, except this album was like one of the very first albums that I ever thought in my brain that I really wanted growing up. I remember seeing uh, something like, I think it was advertised when I was a kid. I mean, this album came out in like, what? What's the year? I, uh, 86. Look how young they are. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Um, I remember seeing this. I remember thinking how horrifying it looked. The name of it, I remember my mom telling me, it's all about Satan. And that it just encouraged me more. I know that sounds really bad from like a Christian standpoint, but like rebellion is everything. And I know that sounds so bad. But I remember as a kid, I really wanted it. And like what? 15, 16 years later, it's in my hand. And it's awesome. This one was a really random one. Uh, Ramones. I had a dream about this guy right here, uh, Joey. And I was determined to get an album just because I had a dream about him. I kind of lost love out of that. I think that dream was like weird. I don't know. I think my brain just picked up something and it just picked him. He's tall. He looks like a geek, but it's a good album. I have I don't know I don't know anything about it except there's Russia, United States. Well, they are from New York. I think I think it's like the first. No, that's not true because Metallica is from America. Blah, I don't know what I'm talking about. But the moons. Oh, Rocket to Russia. This must have been an album they released. Going to Russia. I don't know a damn thing about them. Except I like how they look. And they talk like me. This album. I'm gonna get so much crap from my mom. Ignore the shape in the middle. Mom. Is it a pyramid with an eye? It's not the it's not what it Illuminati. Yeah. It's the You know what that is? It's me. It is uh, a pentagram. Um, I quiet. I just want to say for self defense of this band because this band is a uh, flipping amazing. Um, look at them. I mean, they look very uh, like ready to go on a date with a man. Um. Someone, I just want to say that I remember showing this to a staff member and they said like, like, this was a girl, 
this was a girl, this was a girl, and this, was, and this was their mom, trying to act like them. And she was upset because she wasn't as pretty. I'm like, bull, he's hot. Um, so uh, in self-defense of this band, they did have the pentagram because they wanted to uh, rebel. rebel. So I'm, I'm sorry, mom, I love you. I just wanted this album. And it's shout at the devil, not shout with the devil according to the bass player, Nikki Six, that it's shouting at him. That means stop being, you know, simple. I, I, don't, I don't know. But I like this album. It was their, like, their successful album. Here, let's do that. There we go. It's just a star.